Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to use the Flyway DB Java based migration with Quarkus. Let's start and follow my steps. In the previous video, Flyway DB with Quarkus, we have created a new project using the Flyway Quarkus extension, a book entity with a, an ID title and author, a book repository, and a book resource with just a get endpoint. We've also created two SQL migration scripts, one to create the book table and the other one to add the first book. Now, inside the Java folder, create two new packages. One is called db and the other one is called migration. Inside the package migration, we are going to add our first Java-based migration class. Let's create a Java class with the name v3 because v1 and v2 are already used. We cannot use the dot because we are creating a Java class and then double underscore like we did for the SQL scripts. Those are mandatory by the Flyway DB tool. At the end, let's put the name update book. Now, this class must extend the base Java migration class and override the migrate method. As you can see, FlywayDB provides us the context object to make our changes inside the database. We need to be careful because the context object is the only object available for us at this moment and we cannot use the panache repository from Quarkus because it is not ready yet. What can we do now? Let's imagine that you want to update the title of the first book in cell database. Let's do it. First, we are going to specify inside the migrate method two methods. The first one is select book by D and the other one is update book title. Let's define the context as a global variable to use inside each method. Good. Now let's implement the method select book by ID. First, using the context, we are able to get the connection to the database and create a new statement. Don't forget to add the try catch. Let's create a variable of type statement. Good. Then we can create our query to fetch the ID of the first book. And using the result set rules, we can take and return the value of the ID. Let's refactor our code and instead of returning an integer, let's return an optional. And optional.empty. Don't forget to update the migrate method. much better like this. Now that we have completed the first method, let's continue implementing the second method update book title. Again, we can use the context to get the connection, create the statement and write our query to update the title of the book. Let's put a new title like my first book updated.
Good. We have completed our Java based migration class. For simplicity, we are going to use the Postgres Docker image and also the PG admin Docker image to check the content of the database. We are going to create a Docker Compose file specifying the services needed PostgreSQL and PG admin and the configuration to connect to them. Take a moment to copy the content. But don't worry, I will put it inside the GitHub repository. Now let's open the terminal and type docker compose app. The database and pgadmin are running. Finally, we can compile our code in development mode. Let's check very carefully the logs. We can see the three lines related to the migration schema. Create, insert and update book. It seems that our migration worked without any issue. Let's check inside the database using pgadmin. The username and password are inside the docker compose file. We have the book and the flyway schema history table. Inside the flyway schema history table, we can see our migrations. The first two are SQL migration scripts, and the last one is the JDBC migration. Of course, inside the table book, we can see our book title updated. It's very easy to write a Java-based migration class with FlywayDB inside a Quarkus project. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload. And see you in the next one. Bye.